Hi, it's me, Charity Lowe. Today I'm going to be drawing hair. So let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go into the app and press draw and select image. Go to classic mode. And then first I'm gonna make sure everything's lined up. I already did that already so that you guys can see both the phone and the paper. And now I'm gonna just tape down the paper so it doesn't move as I draw on it. Now I'm gonna push the move button and adjust the image to the page. When I got it where I want it, I am going to push the move button again so that when I zoom into the image, it won't move around on me. Now I'm gonna go into breakdown and I'm going to go to five steps. So at this point, I'm just gonna be blocking in my shades using 8B, 4B, HB, and H4. So I'm gonna start off with 8B and just draw in the direction of the hair. Usually I draw in circular motions, but not in this case. I am not trying to color in every little red spot that's on the screen. I am just trying to get the basic shapes that are being created by the hairstyle. Now I'm going in with the 4B and just repeating the same process, trying to make sure the strokes go in the same direction as the hair. And now I'm going in with the HB, same thing. And lastly, I'm going in with the 4H. Now I'm just blending it out with a tissue. Now I'm going back into breakdown, turning it off and on again, then increasing the steps to as much as it can and increasing the exposure, giving me the darkest darks. And I'm going to color in those spaces with my black watercolor. The reason why I do this is because I find drawings pop out a lot better when there is black and white and then gray in between. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get those black areas as dark as I can. I'm going to go back into breakdown. I'm going to turn it on and off again and decrease the exposure. And then I'm going to zoom out and then go all the way to 10. There isn't really on 10 anything, so I'm going to go to 9. And I can see some there. So I'm going to zoom back in and then I'm going to use my little teeny tiny eraser and just erase those little spots there.
So now I am going to be turning off the breakdown mode and then turning up the opacity and turning on strobe. This will allow me to see the difference between the original image and my drawing. So what I'll be using is my black watercolor pencil, my 4B pencil, and my 4H pencil, and also my tiny mechanical eraser. So I'm not trying to get every single detail. Again, I'm just trying to create the shapes and the texture. So I'm just trying to fill in the shadows and then I'm gonna blend it out. And then I'm gonna take the tiny eraser and just do some rounded strokes in the direction of where the hair is going. And I'm going to take my black watercolor pencil and also do some strokes in the dark areas, also rounded and in the direction of where the hair is going. There's also going to be parts where I take the H4 pencil and go over the lighter areas to give it the texture of hair. And I just keep on repeating the process over and over again until I have completed the entire page. This process does take a while, so be patient. Don't overwhelm yourself by trying to do every single little detail. I notice that some people who are drawing realistic hair like to draw a continuous line from the top to the bottom. You don't do that because hair changes shade when the light hits it and the shadows. So as long as you're drawing strokes in the direction that the hair wants to go, it will look right. Now that I'm done doing that step, I'm going to take my tablet and put the image on there and take away my phone because I don't need that. And now I'm going to just eyeball what I feel like needs to be changed. I'm taking a little paintbrush and just using water because I already have watercolor on the page because of my black watercolor pencil. I'm just trying to shape it a little bit more where I feel like it needs to be shaped. Now I'm going to be taking my white acrylic and using the same fine paintbrush. I am going to be painting in the highlights, making them pop a little bit more, and also a few of the stray hairs. The stray hairs don't have to be exactly like the photo that you're drawing from. 
Just go ahead and do what you feel like would look good. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take my 4-H pencil and I'm going to be drawing over those paint strokes because I think it looks a little bit too thick um, and I also want the texture of the hair to be consistent. And this is pretty much the end of my video. If you have any general questions about the app, you can email the creators at info at davinciiapp.com. And if you have any requests for any future tutorial videos, you can contact me directly on my Facebook page or Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys again.